Tragedy strikes again as Nintendo essentially sends the manhammer to a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournament or a circuit or a league or whatever. What's good everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man Shadik Stick dropping some hot faraga on this mic. Today we're actually going to be talking about how Nintendo is essentially dropping the ban hammer on a Nintendo or on a Super Smash Brothers uh, tournament league for collegiate players. So Sean Byrne tweeted this out yesterday. So this is kind of interesting. Nintendo not lying play versus to run competition because they claim to be working on collegiate esports themselves. Seems unlikely considering their lack of involvement in the amateur slash pro level. And here he has attached a screenshot from Discord from Play vs. Delaware, I assume. It says Play vs. Dallas, so I'm gonna assume Play vs. Delaware, where it reads this. Hello at Collegiate Coach at Collegiate Players. Unfortunately, we will not be able to offer Nintendo Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for college this spring 2021 season at the request of the publisher, who wants to wait to restart their college initiatives at a later date. We apologize to those who have signed up and have more exciting announcements coming in January that should more than make Make up for not having Smash this spring. So first of all, let's just break this down. What they're saying is, Nintendo said no to us having a Smash League. We were originally planning on having one and footing the bill ourselves, but big in and there, you know, Nintendo ninjas came out of the woodworks to say no, you can't have this, at least not without our permission, and gave them all the old runaround that they've given other leagues saying, oh, we'll start something later, and then they're probably never going to show up again. And it kind of sucks because it looks like they have to fill in the space that they once had with something else. And the thing that's hard about that is Smash, you know, right now is kind of just the biggest fighting game out. And there's nothing really around it as a platform fighter that kind of stacks up because they likely already have some other leagues for big games like Street Fighter and Tekken. So how do you replace Smash outside of, you know, putting another game there that's as big? Right now, there's really nothing out there. That's not to say other games are lesser, it's just Smash has sold an insane amount of copies. So it's really, really popular. And this is really unfortunate when you look at it from a competitive perspective, because these guys were trying to start a college league, something with universities backing up, something that would likely be vetted. One of the things I've kind of thought about over the past, you know, month or so with all this Nintendo canceling tournaments and stuff is that maybe Nintendo didn't want a circuit or anything like that because they didn't want to be held responsible for the actions of those who participated in the tournament. They couldn't always watch them, and maybe they knew about the culture surrounding what was happening at Smash tournaments. I mean, everything this summer kind of just summed up that the entire experience around that in that culture was really toxic, especially for those who were minors or women. It just seemed like back to back people were abusing power and giving false promises to those who were there to just play Smash, have fun and have a great time. Only to give them, you know, what is essentially the Sky Epstein house and ludicrous amounts of assault. But hey, it gets even worse. The Crimson Blur or at OXY Crimson said on Twitter, in today's edition of Nintendo shutting down opportunities for Smash Bros, at Play versus a startup which has raised $106.2 million to grow collegiate slash high school esports, says they cannot run Smash at the explicit request of the publisher. Awesome. Hashtag free melee, hashtag save Smash. So essentially, you know, he's throwing in the fact that this, you know, startup, this this group play versus was ready to foot the bill. They they weren't needing Nintendo. They didn't need Nintendo to say, hey, give us money. They were doing this out of people's sheer love of the game and the competitive nature in the game and the opportunities having a competitive scene could allow people and essentially freely advertising the game at a competitive level for Nintendo. $106.2 million is nothing to shy at. And it's just kind of ludicrous that they were willing to put up this much money and Nintendo was, the, was just came in and said, hey, you can't do this. We don't want you doing this. We don't want you showing off our game. Again, this is free advertisement. These guys are practically giving you money to play Smash Ultimate. They are giving you millions of dollars just so, you know, a few hundred or a few thousand people can play Smash Ultimate and make the most out of that game's experience. And then when you look at, at back at things like the the Mr. Sakurai presents, you know, obviously Sakurai was joking when he said he'll leave the things up to the players where he was talking about frame data, made the joke. He's like, ah, I'm just a guy who wanted to make a fun game. But obviously Nintendo doesn't want this game to be seen as a competitive game. 
which would it be a problem if the game were like say for instance smaller and didn't sell well but it's freaking smash smash is the biggest video game crossover of all time i get it having a competitor scene somewhat alienates the casual scene many people don't want to go online and fight against sweats many, many people just want to go online and have a fun time but implement for fun and for glory and make for glory use the preferred you know rule set features that y'all implement it and only gsp from the god dang online because you've essentially created a ranked mode but have no sort of casual mode in sight so every match you play is just a match of trying to be sweaty i'm gonna keep it real so you've already created that situation for yourselves nintendo one of the big reasons people didn't want skill-based mat ma matchmaking in cod is because cod doesn't have rank it's traditionally strayed away or you know shied away from having a ranked mode in this game so because of that you don't want to go in and skill-based matchmaking and everybody be sweaty because you're you know maybe you're just naturally good at the game and everybody's just trying to win constantly and not have a fun time that's what it becomes but nintendo's kind of done the opposite they've created an environment in which everyone is just straight up sweaty and the people ha trying to have a good time kind of interfere with the people trying to play or you know at a more competitive level it's kind of ironic how they somewhat figured it out with smash wars online and then took 30 steps backward with smash ultimate and then instead of you know essentially trying to stray even further away from the competitive side with their online and with their multiplayer they've created a sense of competition with their online because of the use of gsp because of the mechanics they've implemented in the game like being able to short hop more easily and do short hop uh, aerial attacks with a shortcut so that people can get to higher levels faster because they don't have to necessarily worry as much about learning how to short hop and when is the best time to short hop they've made higher level aspects of the game more accessible in probably one of the best ways possible but then shot themselves in the foot because people want to play the game competitively more people want to play the game competitively because they can they made it easier to learn the game competitively the greatest example of this is their training mode because it's half baked they obviously wanted people to learn and they wanted to tailor some things to the competitive community but as soon as the competitive community asks for things or the competitive community is starting to enjoy things they just take it away Way. they take they pull the carpet from under their feet and i just can't stand for it and nobody should stand for it we need more of these nintendo content creators out here that are not talking about this to talk about this because it's kind of ridiculous because the smash community is a part of not only just the fgc but also the nintendo community at large this is one of nintendo's biggest games and people are just not talking about it Yes, the Smash community is talking about it. The FGC is talking about it a little because the FGC only really wants Smash around when they can facilitate having more people at one of their events. And the Nintendo content creators only really talk about Smash when a new DLC is out because they'll know they'll get views. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. I don't know. But tell me how you feel about this in that comment section down below. Are you with me in that people need to start talking more about this stuff? Because the only people I've seen upload videos have been Omni and Leffen. And I feel like people in the FGC, people in the Smash community need to start speaking up. There are people around me, uh, you know, relatively around my size, not talking about it. I get it. People don't want to, you know, essentially shut Nintendo off uh, as being an opportunity to get games and kind of grow their channel from having games first outside of that. I get it. That's why gaming outlets and all the massive Nintendo content creators aren't doing it. Because historically, if you criticize Nintendo, they get ready to pull the rug from under you and take away everything you have. Haydox is one of the greatest examples. Spoke out against Nintendo, you know, and got kicked out of the ambassador program. I mean, heck, beat em ups would, or beat em ups would, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> but beat em ups essentially had his Nintendo ambassador thing taken away from him because of a modded Zelda video. That did nothing to really show anything negative about the game, but just really enjoy the game in a different way. We need to teach Nintendo that just because they have the right to do something, that they necessarily should do it just because i have the right to punch someone in the face at at you know free will i can just walk up to someone and punch them doesn't mean i should and many people may say well why do you keep buying their games why do you keep you know playing their games that's not the point yes there is one form of bo boycott and not buying a product but the issue is that you're gonna kill the scene if you if people stop playing the game that's just how that works that's how any video game scene works if less people are playing the game, the scene dies. 
I mean, a lot of battle royales and stuff have come out in the past few years and they die because people stop playing the game. That's just how it naturally works. So stop when you say stop playing the game or when you say, you know, just don't buy this product. It's not as easy as that. I wish it were. I mean, Smash is already, I'm pretty sure, past 20 million units. Not buying the game at this point isn't going to affect Nintendo. They've made their money and more off of the game. And it's kind of ridiculous that they'll run a circuit for something like Splatoon, still treat them like crap, but at least advertise it. But Smash, their biggest game, essentially their biggest multiplayer game, they wouldn't. It baffles me that they still support ARMS more at a competitive level than they do Smash. ARMS. And that game, as much as I love it, is dead. But I don't know, this this has become some, you know, extra rant. I just think it's kind of ridiculous that Nintendo shut down a college league. They could have eas more easily vetted players. They could have more easily kept track of what was happening because they're involved with colleges, massive institutions with massive amounts of money that provide that they were providing opportunity. This could have been great for Nintendo. They could have advertised it as a hey, smash is providing college opportunities for people. But at the end of the day, Nintendo was like, nah, we got to shut this down. But that's all I got to say on this subject. Tell me how you feel in that comment section below. This has been your man, Shattuck Stick. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please follow your boy on Twitter. He's trying to get his clock back. We're almost at 300 followers again. Make sure you join the Discord down below. Links, as always, again, down below. This has been your man, Shattuck Stick. Don't forget Hot Faraga turns to Cold Blazaga. And make sure you chill out some of my other videos. Peace. Kiss, kiss.